Welcome to the Photoshop Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the Blur Blowing plugin. Now, it's a plugin available on the graphicextras.com website, part of the Andrew plugin series. Find more information about that on the site. Now, first thing to do is that it's actually blurring, and there's the key functionality here at the top, and that's so I can set the blur, and this is a, a different factor. So basically, there's two factors for the blur, so you can modify just move that along and that will increase the blurring applied to the image so you can put it all the way back there and you've got a very subtle blur there great for creating sort of unusual ghostly like oddball effects with images now also you can modify and I'm just going to reduce that down a bit so it's a bit quicker right intensity you can modify the intensity of the image as well so you can actually push it right well wow, push it fair way up so you can actually virtually make it turn into like a silhouette so you've actually still got the blurring effect as well as the noise which is just below but you can modify that and you can actually put it below as well so you can actually make it darker so you can make it sort of like a, a sort of shadowy night nighttime kind of scene add noise into it and that's obviously there's the noise effect and you can actually see the effect of the the blur effect even better when I've actually increased that noise so I can put that right just keep changing it and you can see the various variations effects and the streaks of the grain right another option you can do is modify the mix and that mixes the image and the actual effect so you can actually go the other way and make a sort of inverted image as well makes it sort of nice sort of burning uh, hmm, not certainly effect right so once you've actually done all that you can like I say modify the mix in a number of ways so you can actually create uh, some very interesting combinations very sort of uh, burnt heat design there as well go the other way right so once you've actually done that you can also modify the factor and that's the next setting is actually these are red and green and blue anytime you actually see these in any of the plugins the if it's red and green and blue that's so you can individually modify the effect to a channel so like a blue channel or the green channel etc so I can just reduce that down for the green channel and you see it becomes a far more sort of mix of blue and red than using green okay so push that up to 100% now <clears throat> there are some other options as well such as different modes for it so you can actually go to use the effect as say like a shift or distortion effect that's the shift effect so I'm just going to put shift extreme and it's really quite good for sort of like a, a weird painted effect so you can sort of create this sort of oddball effect very quickly just by using that you can modify the strength of the shift so you can reduce it down so it doesn't have to be so extreme so it becomes more of sort of just a slight warping distortion but you can actually create sort of like a, I don't know Francis Bacon like effects in in seconds just using that and of course you can push it really to extreme and completely utterly obliterate the image right again you can modify the blur as well and there's other options as well there's sort of blurring effects so again the plugin will actually create a blur from this effect not actually the effect itself that's what it's uh, there for so it's such, such as smear color so that actually creates a nice smearing color effect or sepia or old time smear for again very sort of weird surreal ghostly effects so you've got there a duplication the image on top of the earlier image now also got transparency it depends on if it's on applied on a layer this one isn't so actually of really of no use but you can actually just quickly see the effect over here in the so you've got to hear the red channel obviously that one just completely obliterated you can actually see the image there and basically what you can do then is actually add layer effects so like shadow or a bevel to that transparency great for that sort of thing now I'm just going to remove that there's also output modes so you can put it back to basic mode output options so you can wrap the color 
Again, modify it just for the green channel, grey, as well as adding colour graduations and so on. So on. there's a whole, there's a hundred different settings. There's also a tile setting as well, so you can create sort of tiles as well. So tile four, so you can create nice sort of patterns, which can then obviously be incorporated in, say, a Photoshop pattern. Just put it back now to the there's some also there's some randomization options so you can actually click on these and these will randomize the different settings as well as blend that randomizes that there's also color settings so you can make that additionally red or go obviously back far more blue also you can add gradients as well that's another this is this drop down here where it's got a whole range of different gradients so you can just add amazing different color effects very quick and easy on top of the actual effect. And again, you can literally millions and millions and millions of com combinations of color effects that can be added in there. Right. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, quick run through of the blowing plugin of interest. Thank you much.